Hey guys, welcome back to another sprite animation tutorial. So today I have a really short one for you guys. It's really not that hard at all. And it's layer depth. So what layer depth does is, well, it gives your layers depth. <laughs> it's in the name. But basically what layer depth does is it helps, personally with me, it helps backgrounds. Where, so if I was to move the camera, uh, you'll see the background stays in the same place. It doesn't move on its own at all. It just stays in the same place and that doesn't look good for depth. So what you want for layer depth with the background is for the background to move slower than the foreground. So you'd want it to be like, I don't even know how to show it here, but you know, you know what I mean, like parallax, stuff like that. So here is how you do layer depth and this basically moves your backgrounds automatically near enough. So you want to go up to window and you want to go down to layer depth and then you'll have this window come up. Now this window is basically well, the depth of your layers so the smaller it is the closer the camera is and the further away it is or well, the bigger it is the further away from the camera it is and you'll see behind the window if I just move this to the side you'll see behind the the backgrounds actually shrinking and growing depending on how far away I move it so the closer it is the bigger it is so for parallax you want it to just be far away so I'd say 800 is probably good enough for this background obviously you can change this and once you've actually done this, you can resize it back to how you want it to be. So you can just close this window now. Once you've done that, you can close the window. And now, when you move the camera, you'll see that the background moves really slowly, which looks very nice. So basically what we've done here is we have made the background move at a different speed than the camera, which allows the depth to show. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys, just really quick and simple layered up tutorial. So I hope this helps you guys out a lot, it helped me out a lot when I learned how to do it. It, it makes doing backgrounds a whole lot easier. So just a quick disclaimer, this doesn't work with vcams, it needs to be the camera tool that's built into um, Adobe Animate. But yeah, other than that, have fun. Thanks for watching everyone.